Well, it's good to be back. And we had a wonderful, absolutely exciting uh, virtual day of discovery. And at least from the feedbacks that we've received from everybody, it's just been phenomenal. So we appreciate the enthusiasm and the interest that you've had in this event because so much uh, energy and love and excitement went into it on this end. So to see that you enjoyed it means a great deal to us. Now, for those of you who were not able to attend the, the Day of Discovery, uh, you've noticed some changes in your inner voice, and that's what I'd like to talk a bit, little bit about today. And for those who you who did, we've received some great feedback and questions that I want to address here as well on, on those. So for both of you, this, uh, this is for both, uh, both of you. So let's start with those of you who were unable to, to hit the day of discovery. So let's start from the beginning. When you open up your inner voice, you're going to see a whole new screen. Don't panic. If you look right there at the top, you have pulse, tones, and you have classic. If you are not comfortable with this new screen, don't fret. Just click on classic tones and you're right back to what you're comfortable with and what you've been using. But we want to move you out of that comfort zone and uh, expand your envelope a little bit. So it will default to pulse tones. Why is this so important? All right, so let's talk a little bit about classic. Classic was phenomenal. We loved classic. You loved classic. Your clients loved classic. It was simple, easy to do. We record for 10 seconds. It would analyze approximately 10, uh, 2,000 frequencies. And out of that, it would give us the three that were the highest out of range and the one that was the lowest out of range. And then it would play back to you with some uh, basic um, individual information to you on those tones back to you and it's simple. And it took three minutes for each one that you wanted to listen to, but it was simple. Pulse tones is a little bit more. Now you understand classic, so let's jump over now to the new one, pulse tones. Pulse tones, same thing. You're going to push either the microphone or if you want to do a vital scan with it, you'll push the microphone in the heart. But for right now, for this purpose, we're just going to talk about the microphone, just straight inner voice. When you click that, it's going to analyze almost 10,000 frequencies, of which 2,000 of those are relevant to your voice at that time. Now, those 2,000 frequencies each time could be a different set of frequencies in that 10,000 range, but there's only going to be about 2,000 of them that are relevant at the moment, okay? What we're able to see with that is deeper into how the emotions are playing with your physical side or how your physical side is being affected by those emotions. I love inner voice. It's my baby. We started with it years ago, back in 2006. It is like the eyes of the window to the soul. Inner voice, your voice, is the window to everything going on in your body. This is so important to know because our physical really, really uh, is determined by our emotions. Our emotions are so important that we pay attention to those. That's why we ask you on inner voice, you can do it as many times as you want. I do it every day for sure, almost every day, twice, morning and evening. And there's even been days where I'll do it throughout the middle of the day. If I'm having a stressful day or a, uh, a harder day, I, I will sit down and do an inner voice in the afternoon just because it helps me balance where the emotions have kind of got out of, out of whack. So, Inner voice, unlike vitals and comprehensive, can be used as many times as you feel the need. Listen to your body. Your body knows, I, I better do an inner voice. Listen to those promptings because that's when your body is saying, hey, listen to me. And tell it, you don't want it to be shouting at you because you got sick. Listen to the little whispers. Okay, so when you hit that button, and I'm going to do it for right now. You'll see your little countdown to the timing, and then always start. I am Lauren Swenson, and today we are doing a demonstration on the new Pulse Tone version of Inner Voice 
that is new at this day of discovery. All right, so what just happened there? Now, what I said, don't say I am Lauren Swenson unless you are me, which you are not. I am is so important. I am and then your name. That states who this signature is for and it validates you at that moment. So it's really important. Don't say my name is. Start with I am. Very powerful, those two words. Okay, so you've got it. If you look down here, it gave me two numbers that you've never seen before. The average frequency, and in this case, it's 788.2 hertz. And then it says pulse, which is 98.5. What do those mean? I don't know. I don't know what those mean. Other than it's important that right now, that is the frequency of your voice. All of those frequencies are the all of your voice frequencies averaged together. And then as those are divided down into the notes that we're looking at, that is your pulse. What those mean in your body specifically, we don't know yet. That is something that we're still learning. And believe me, we are learning that these frequencies have very specific targets in our body. And in time, we're going to know more and more about what those mean. But for right now, let me give you an analogy. Imagine that your frequencies is one big freeway. That's the carrier uh, tone for or the carrier frequency for everything that we're going to be delivering in your headphones. But imagine it is a freeway. The pulse represents the on ramps and the exit ramps uh, of that freeway. Okay, that's what that means. That is your signature. Nobody else's. It is as unique as your fingerprint every single time you do this. And every single time you record, you're going to have a different frequency average and a different pulse. And that's because your emotions change. Even if I was to immediately do it again, it would be slightly different. In fact, it might be dramatically different because of what my thought processes are and how that's affecting my internal emotions at that time. But right now, I just took this. Now, if you're not happy with the way you spoke or you, you coughed a little bit or you, you had a new thought, start over. Don't even continue with this. Just start. Now, I've always said, and there's other people out there that have a different opinion, but mine, the way I do mine, and I've said this to you in the past, is I'll take a few seconds and I'll think about the things that make me sad. Maybe I'm having issues with some of my children or struggles at work or whatever. I'm thinking of those things. Just five seconds. And then I'll stop, clear my mind, and I'll think of five for five seconds the things that make me happy, that bring me joy. And that brings those emotions and that thought process of thinking about my emotions to the forefront. Now when I speak, I am, and go through that uh, 10 seconds, those things are more relevant and immediate to my status right now. So if you don't feel like you were ready for hit the button again and re-record. When you're happy with that recording, then move on. Okay, now if you'll notice right below those two buttons, there's D, G, A, and C. Those were my frequencies that were out of range. The first three are the ones that were the most high out of range. And the last one in this case, which is C, and it highlighted it, was the one that is being suppressed, the emotion or emotions that are suppressing the most. Underneath that are the four boxes, and those are the balancing tones. Okay, C, uh, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp. Those are balancing. Now, let me talk a little bit about this for a second. There will be times that you'll do a scan that one of the numbers or one of the tones that was out happens to be the balancing tone for one that was uh, in range. Don't worry about it. Your body will take those frequencies as they come in and apply them where they need to go. Kind of like a mail room, you throw all the mail, they throw all the mail into a big sorter and it sorts it out to where it goes to the right carrier. 
Same thing here. Even though that particular frequency was out of range in one plot, it's also the one that you need to balance another area. So don't let that confuse you. Listen to the ones that are your balancing ones. Your body will know what to do with them. Now, if you remember on classic, of course you remember, it was three minutes for each one of those. So 12 minutes to listen to all of those. Well, because we've actually been able to find a better way to condense all of those frequencies, in this case, those 2000 frequencies, we found the free way to get that information back into you. Instead of taking all the side streets, we're able to go directly at a high speed. We've been able to reduce that 12 minutes down to three. That's huge. Not everybody has 12 minutes that they can just sit and listen. And so to be able to take your, from a dial up network to a high speed network, get, you got the same information, but we're able to deliver it at a much faster pace. Doesn't mean you have to stop at three. If you want to go for five minutes or 10 minutes or longer, you can, but the meat of what needed to be delivered to you was done in three. And that's something to pay attention to. That in and of itself makes this upgrade pretty, pretty powerful. Okay, so now let's move down. Now here's where we got a lot of questions for those of you who went to Day of Discovery. And for those of you who are looking at it, let me explain this now to you as well. Okay, so below those four boxes, you're gonna see a circle in the middle. And on either side of that circle, you're going to see two, uh, volume bars. And one on the one on the left, you'll see a little note, musical note sign. And on the one on the right, you'll see a little electrical waveform sign. Those are the volumes for the music and the volumes for your tones. Now, what this does that's different from classic is you're able to mix those together. Whereas on the classic, you got just what it was delivered. It was already pre-mixed for you. And, um, and that's great. That's definitely faster. But this allows you to bring those tones up a little bit more if you want, or to take them down a little bit more, put the music up a little higher or lower. It's just preference. But if you take the note volume all the way down and just the music, you just wasted your whole inner voice time because it's the magic is the notes. So you want to make sure you can hear it. It does not have to be dominant but you have to be able to acknowledge that you can hear that note. I like the music higher than my notes. For me, it's more comfortable. I have some people that actually like listening to those tones where they can hear it more dominantly than, uh, or at least as dominant as the music. And that's fine too. There is no right or wrong, just whatever is comfortable for you. The circle is just a display of what um, the frequency looks like. So let, I'm going to hit the three minute uh, and the pulse cycle start so you can see it. So that's just showing you don't have to look at this. It's not going to do anything more or less if you watch or don't watch it. It's just showing you that it's what that waveform looks like. Stop that for a second. Okay. All right. So we talked about the average frequency. That's your, that's your freeway. And your pulse or your on-ramps and your off-ramps onto that freeway. That's when your different notes, and we're going to call those cars, okay? So in this case, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp are all four different cars. And they're going to get on that freeway and get off that freeway. And so that's the pulse. That's what the pulse is doing. Now, these four boxes down here below can be really confusing, and I don't want it to be confusing. So let me just explain. Over here on the top left box, there's like a little drum. That is the rhythm. So um, the rhythm, if we open that up, you have five different sets of rhythm. Now, what you're used to in, in classic is the one at the bottom, which is constant. It was just plain. The others are frequencies that have been found to resonate with the cells. Okay. There's not a right one or a wrong one, a better one or a worse one. They're just different. Okay, 
Tesla 369. That is my favorite, that and constant. I'll switch back and forth between those. Seldom do I use the others, but I like Tesla 369. If you do any research on Tesla 369, that is the frequency that Tesla found that the cells resonate with in a very magical way. And so basically what's happening is those the frequencies that you're listening to that are coming back to you are being uh, delivered to you in three-second bursts, six-second bursts, and a nine-second burst. And then it'll repeat that. Constant just means that that frequency is being played the whole time. You've got your foot to the metal and you're going as fast as that car is going to take you down the street. Um, eight, eight, again, eight second burst, eight second burst with a brief pause. Two second, two second, eight second, one second, one second, one second, one second, a quarter of a second, a quarter of a second, and a second. They're all interesting. They're not going to make any difference as far as how effective it is to you. But you may resonate with one of those um, on certain days, some some music, some tones will sound and feel better to you as that's as it's being played. No right or wrong, guys. Do not get hung up on which one's better or worse. There is not one. Like I said, for me, constant and 369, I go back and forth between those. I seldom use the others, but they're there for you. Okay, the next one to the right is triangle. Well, it's the waveform. In the box, it says triangle. But when you open that up, you have four versions. Triangle, square, sawtooth, and sine. These are all waveforms. So triangle, uh, wave, square wave, sawtooth wave, sine wave. Again, there is no right or wrong. In the classic version, we were using uh, the square tooth. Uh, the square, the square, I'm sorry, square wave. Always, it was always a square wave. There was no sine wave or other options. My personal preference, I like sawtooth and I like triangle. Those are my favorites. Again, there's not a right or a wrong. Find the one that resonates with you. And some will feel better with different pieces of music than others. Okay, so the one down right below that, in that box it says four right now, and it shows an up and down arrow. These are the octaves. Okay, and you have octaves two, three, four, five, and six. In the best octave, I think, and if there was a best, it's going to be four. That's your middle octave, middle C, so to speak, on a piano. Um, but sometimes you are going to resonate with three or two or five or six better than four. Again, doesn't make any difference. They're all delivering the same information. One's going to be a lower pitch. The other one's going to be a higher pitch. Um, so again, whatever feels good resonates with you. And then the one to the left on the bottom is the little music sign. And these are your music pieces. This of all of them has the least to do with anything because these are just different pieces of music. Now, all the music that was in the classic is in here. And then there's a few more. I think there's four or five more pieces of music, and we may add more to that. Now, of those of you who attended Day of Discovery, I said the day would come when you'd be able to add your own music. Not true. We've changed our mind on that one. Um, and I know for some of you, that's going to be really disappointing. For the most of you, you don't even care. But the reason is music, if it's got a strong rhythm, um, or a strong bass in the background, it's going to, or can, cancel out the whole reason you did your inner voice, and that was for those specific frequencies. And you don't want to cancel those out. And uh, so, you know, Death Leopard, Metallica, even some of Neil Diamond stuff is not going to work in here, okay? It just was designed different. So the music in here, I had one somebody respond on one of the responses, can I get something other than funeral music? I didn't think this was funeral music, but uh, there are a few other pieces. So at least you can pick maybe a happier funeral piece of music. But the music is there to make listening to the tones uh, more comfortable. Find the piece that just resonates with you at that day. You've got some piano music. You've got some other music in there. So you've got some upbeat music. Um, 
again, remember the music is there only to help um, listening to the tones be more comfortable. So now let's go back to the analogy of the freeway. So you have your freeway, you have your on-ramps and your on-ramps. Look at these four boxes down on the bottom. The rhythm is your suspension in your car. You might have a real rough suspension. You might have a smooth suspension. It might feel like a boat driving down the freeway instead of uh, uh, a car with two bad uh, shocks. Your triangle, your waveform is going to be more like the fuel you're using in the car. You, maybe you got 85 octave or you're using 98 octave. It's going to just be a little uh, smoother ride, a um, little more peppy, not as much pings. Your octave... That's going to be pretty much the speed you're driving down that freeway. And if you stick it at four, you're probably never, ever going to get a ticket. Okay. And the music, that's just what's playing on the radio. That's just what's playing on the radio when you're driving. No matter which one of those you pick, you're going to go from point A to point B. And it's just going to depend on how well that ride feels to you. So now... Got you all confused, got you all worried that this is too complicated. Let me just show you. If you'll notice, when I did my recording, it already set those for me. It did a quick evaluation of my mood state at that moment in time. And it selected 369 for me. It selected triangle for me. It selected octave four for me. And it selected this piece of music. All, I didn't have to do anything, not a thing, and neither do you. Only if you want, you can go through and change those. And here's the beauty. I can start this right now, and it'll always default to three minutes. If I hit pulse cycle, you'll see the waveform, and you should be able to hear the music kind of fades in over a few seconds. So you'll hear this, in this case, it's the Piano Bliss. Now, if I want to um, hear my tones more, I can bring the tone up, bring the music down, and I hear the tone more than I hear the music. Now, for me, I don't like that. I would rather bring my music up and my tones down, and that's what I would do. And now, I'm happy with that, or if I want to change any of those, I can go change them. I would hit stop and say, okay, do I want to do a three minute, a five minute or a 10 minute? I would select it. I'm going to just stick with three. I hear the tone come in, the music comes in and I put my headset on. Okay, so simple, but so many more, more opportunities for you to customize it more to how you're feeling that day. Okay, having said all of that, it's uh, hopefully you'll realize it's not as cumbersome or complicated as you think. You can just do it as simple as you want, or you can make it as sophisticated as you want. Spend as much time as you want putting that piece together. There's one other option. You see the little uh, pink button there. It says auto mix. If you want the the scan to do another or the the, the scanner to do another evaluation of you right now. You can hit auto mix and it will go through and make another assessment of you and pick. Now here it changed my rhythm to the 228. It kept the triangle. It did my move my octave up to five and it picked a different piece of music for me. I would then again go in, start it, adjust the music and the, the music volume and the tone volume and then I would do it. So you can either take the first one that scan does for you or the second. There is no one that's better than the other. There is no right or wrong how you set these up. It's all here for you to make it more enjoyable for you. That's all this is. This is the groundwork for what's coming. We're going to be able to take this and give you more and more information about your emotions as they relate to your physical state over time. This is something that's been in the works for 18 months. And we're just so happy to bring it to you, but it is literally the tip of the iceberg. 
Down at the very bottom, you have the bottom that says reports. Right now, your reports are the same whether you do this one or you do the classic. The reports will be the same. The reports over time will become more uh, relevant to the data that we're collecting. With the changes that we've made with um, Pulse Tone, we also made some modifications to Classic to where now only one headset is needed for, for either and for the scanner. We recommend uh, the AO Bone Conductor headset, whether it's wired or the, uh, the Bluetooth. It makes no difference. The reason is, is the, the adjustments we made to the way we deliver the tones, instead of doing it in each ear, we do it in one, but you get a better resolution when you can feel that on, that, on the bone right in front, your mastoid bone right in front of your ears. So feeling it and hearing it is essentially the same as having it one ear and one ear, uh, which makes it wonderful. Um, if you've got a child that can't wear headphones, if you've got a pet, just allowing that music to play because it's all being channeled through one um, is now more effective than it was before. So remember that. And in fact, you know, those of you who know the Ackleys, you know about their son, Michael. He couldn't have anything on his head and just playing uh, the classical version would immediately calm him down. Those of you who've had pets you would just set the, the device down and let it play and you would watch your pets just relax and listen to it. We've made this probably five to six times more powerful by the way we are delivering those tones. And bone conducting headsets are now your absolute best. Now, if you're on an airplane and you're listening to these, that's probably not gonna work because now everybody's gonna hear. You can use your earbuds. But uh, we do recommend bone conducting headsets and we really push the AO scan headset because those coils that are in those conductors are tuned to our frequencies. Whereas if you buy some of the others on the market, and there's some great ones on the market, they're gonna deliver the sound, they're gonna deliver the, the vibration, but the frequency will be slightly off because those coils are tuned differently, but they still will work. I hope that you will really jump into this and learn how to utilize inner voice the best you can. I hope we've answered your questions and some of your concerns. We've had a few people, you know, send us in uh, statements. One of them, and I'm paraphrasing, said, this is so amazing. I listened to it the first time and I bawled. And she says, um, I, you know, when it finished, I did it again and I had the same reaction. And there's been several along those lines. You are speaking to you. For example, when you get up and you look in the mirror, you're looking at you, looking back at you. With inner voice, it is now the mirror of your voice. When you speak, those same frequency characteristics are speaking back to you. So you're getting a much more condensed, a much more um, resolute frequency mix that you need to hear at that time to balance out some of those frequencies that are causing the emotion disruption. Learn it, love it, use it. Till next week.